India is a country rich in water resources. But its rivers and groundwater resources are under great threat. Rapid economic development, intensive water use in agriculture, continuous growing population and increasing urbanization are pushing the water demand, which is creating a problem of scarcity. Compounding this, the discharge of untreated wastewater is deteriorating the quality of our river water. Our life and our economy are totally dependent on water. If no steps are taken, demand for portable water will soon outstrip supply. In India, rainfall is highly seasonal, with most of the rainfall happening during the monsoon season, that is, June to September and over 90% of river flows occurring in just four months. Many states are facing drought. And 12% of the country is affected by floods. Nearly 600 million Indians face high to extreme water stress. And about 2 lakh people die every year due to inadequate access to safe water. Based on the National Commission on Integrated Water Resources Development Report, per capita water availability in India is reducing continuously. Between 2001 and 2011, the average volume of water available to a person per year has decreased from 1,820 cubic meters to 1,545 cubic meters. If this trend continues, by 2050, only 1,140 cubic meters will be available for each of us. To improve the management of our water resources, we need to know our water better, both qualitatively and quantitatively, as integrated resource combining surface and ground water. The National Hydrology Project is aimed towards providing a solution addressing this scenario. NHP is a central government scheme implemented by the Department of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation, a part of the Ministry of Jal Shakti. Fifty implementing agencies are participating in the project, including all state water departments and 11 central government agencies. This central sector scheme, with 100% grant to the implementing agencies by the Government of India, supported by the World Bank, with the total outlay of 3,640 crore rupees, spans over a period of eight years. The project development objective of NHP is to improve the extent, quality and accessibility of targeted water resources information and to strengthen the capacity of targeted water resources management institutions in India. This is being achieved through four project components. For getting real-time hydrometeorological data, hydrometeorological stations are being installed nationwide to measure water level of rivers, reservoirs, groundwater levels, precipitation, weather parameters such as temperature, wind speed, humidity, etc. at various locations. Through satellite or mobile networks, data from the measuring stations will be transmitted to the centralized data server in real time. In data centers at state and central level, all information is verified, stored, validated and made available for use by water managers, designers, users and researchers. Through web-based database and information system, India Water Resources Information System, Non-classified data is made available to the general public. As repository of countrywide water data, an organization named National Water Informatics Center has already been established. It is very necessary that we not only get a reliable data, but we put all the data at one platform where it is easily accessible to all stakeholders, including public. And then we make use of the data for a different kind of a planning and decision. Because decision support system development is also a very integral part of this National Hydrology Project. It's a very uh, kind of a flexible kind of a scheme where anything which you 
basically want to do which relates to water relates to hydrology you can do it actually right from development of a uh, data centers to what is very important right now is uh, we have set up what is called a national water informatics center nwic because data today is collected by a number of organizations be it central water commission central ground water board imd and all the states but all those data do not Uh, sit on the same platform actually so how all the data sits on the same platform and can be shared by everyone like a state data is available to central government also and central government data is also available to the state government so that's why uh, nwic is also a very important part of this uh, nhp under the advanced decision support system in dry periods better decisions can be taken as to how the available water can be used during flood periods forecasting system with improved lead time accessible to various stakeholders is proposed to be developed decision support system for integrated reservoir operation including from flood perspective are also planned to be developed for optimizing operation in a way that will minimize damage water can actually divide the country and water can unite the country as well so nhp looks at uniting the uh, all the states of the country and to make a robust country so that is how the national integration is the final aim of the nhp to my understanding through nhp the capabilities and knowledge of water professionals at all levels will improve institutional capacity building is one of the prime objectives under nhp for knowledge sharing among stakeholders participants and general public awareness More than 175 training courses including 15 international training have already been conducted under NHP which was attended by nearly 4000 participants. Series of annual water management international conferences are also envisaged to be organized under NHP. National Hydrology Project will facilitate us to know our water resources better and provide the tools for informed decisions. to improve the management of water in india national hydrology project an initiative of the government of india